this room is dedicated to the worldwide famous Azerbaijani poet Nizami Genjay. And I want to show you his portrait. You can see exclusive of Nizami Museum. This uh, portrait, this painting was created in 1940 by the famous Azerbaijani artist Ezantar Haligov. And you know that in all countries of the world, this portrait served as a model for the painters. And this image is popular in uh, movies, in uh, books. But uh, this portrait is just imagination of the poet, because you know that we have no real photo documents about the image of Nizam Genji. In 1939, the Soviet government planned to celebrate the jubilee of uh, Azerbaijan poet Nizami Genjavi, and uh, there was declared, there was announced a contest for the best painting of the poet. And uh, this painting took a second prize on this contest. Why second? Because uh, uh, in such kind of contest where uh, painting could not be compared with original, second prize it means the first prize. So this portrait was chosen as the best one in the contest that was held in 1939. I want to say that Nizami Genjevi, uh, one of the most famous poets, not only of Azerbaijan, but of the world literature and culture. His contribution to the world literature and culture may be compared with such as of Dante, Homer, Shakespeare, Firdosi, he enriched treasure house of world literature and culture. I want to say that uh, in the history of world literature, Nizami Genjavi is famous for his Hamsa. Hamsa, it means five. He created five poems that were later united under the common title Hamsa. The first poem is Treasure House of Mysteries. Second one is uh, Leila and Majnun. Third is uh, Khosrov and Shirin. Seven Beauties and Iskender Name. And I want to show you the carpets which were created uh, by the project of Latif Karim, a famous uh, Azerbaijani carpet maker. And uh, these carpets were created in 1941. I want to show you the pictures which were created uh, especially for our museum by the world-class painter, Azerbaijan painter Oktay Sadekzade. The name of the picture is Nizami Genjavi and the Ancient Greek Philosophy. You know that the works uh, by Sales, Aristotle, Platon were translated to Arabic and Nizami Genjavi got acquainted with them and he used the ideas of the famous Greek philosophers in his poems. Uh, the name of the picture is Nizami Genjevi and his predecessors. Nizami Genjevi and his followers, Nizami Genjevi and the Western culture. You can see the images of Goethe, Byron, Shakespeare, Pushkin, uh, Voltaire, Gotze. You know that uh, famous German poet Goethe was admirer of Hafiz, but he uh, compared Nizami Genjavi in his famous East-West Divan with the brightest son of Oriental poetry. Seven Beauties, the third poem by Nizami Genjavi, uh, it was dedicated to Behram Shah, the ruler who spent all his time in pleasures in company of seven wives from seven uh, countries of the world. Among them were Chinese beauty, Greece beauty, Russian beauty, Indian beauty. Each beauty had her own day of the week, had her own color and her astrological sign. Each day of the week, Prince Bernard visited one of these beautiful ladies and each beauty told him a story about her country, about the customs, holidays, traditions, and at the end of the story, each beauty gave him a lesson how to be more kind ruler, how to be more just ruler. And I want to say that Nizami Genjavi was the first Oriental poet who created an image of woman side by side with the image of man. He wanted to see Azerbaijani woman, Oriental woman, as wise, as brave, as the personages from his poems.
In this glass case, I want to show you the textile which uh, was found in the grave of Nizami Genjayu when it was opened by Russian scientist anthropologist Gerasimov. The textile is dating back 12th century and that's why we keep it between two glasses. And that one was uh, created on the basis of this one. So it looked like this several hundred years ago. I want to show you silver tray with the motifs of Hamsa and uh, with the motifs of Hamsa by Nizami and uh, Shahname by Firdosi. And I want to say that the second um, second exhibit is kept in Metropolitan Museum in St. Petersburg in Russia. Iskandar Nana is the last poem by Nizami Genjeri and is dedicated to Alexander the Great. The book consists of two parts, the book of honor uh, and the book of glory, Iqbal Nana and Sharaf Nana. And I want to say that there are some facts uh, in this poem associating uh, Alexander with Azerbaijan, his meeting with Queen Nushabe. Uh, according to Nizami Genjeli, Berda was a Azerbaijani city who was ruled over lady sovereign and they lived like Amazonian people. Men had no entrance there. The poems of Nizami were translated into many languages, uh, among them German, English, French, Russian. And I want to show you the article by the director of the museum, Mr. Rafael Husseinov, the Nizami of Azerbaijan and the world. You can uh, find many informations about Turkish origin of the poet in this article and you can read it online on uh, IRS International Magazine. IRS, it means heritage.